This is my least favorite way to get water. But... Public toilets are disgusting, but they do have drinkable water. Bicycle, bicycle, bicycle. I want to ride my bicycle. Ooh, amazing night's sleep for me. Gates open though, so somebody came in. I'm gonna pack up. Mm, hopefully not get arrested. Up at 6 6.55. Out by what 7.15? Thank you very much, church. You were wonderful, but we are on our way. Somehow the gate got opened. I wonder if anyone came in while we were in here, visited any graves or something, but it's kind of weird. Because we definitely did not leave the gate open when we left. There goes come Scotty. Yeah, down the hill. We haven't done much riding shots, so we're gonna do a riding shot down we had a nice climb down this hill last night or we had a nice climb up this hill last night so we're gonna be flying on the downhill and you guys get some british scenery so this morning i think we're in north yorkshire i want to ride my bicycle cody's reading uh lord of the rings the fellowship of the ring and then uh I need to find one. I'm in the middle of Harry Potter 1. But if I find the Fellowship of the Ring, I'll read it too. Oh, there we go. Got into a road. Beautiful seaside town in Scarborough. We're going to a garden to go eat some breakfast. Some breakfast. The gardens. Which is like a park call the gardens because it's like lots of grass and stuff. Italian gardens. Wow, look at this. Just, oh. That's a good boy. Good morning. The secret garden. And I'll just find a nice bench or something to rock up. The Italian garden? You wanna go to the Italian garden? <laughs> oh, your brake's fucking up. The Italian gardens? Oh, look at that. Look at that. That was a place to sleep. Check that out. Yeah. This is awesome. It's like switchbacks of like Cliff Garden. I'm just trying to get us down there. There's like a lot of platform. Oh, don't, don't, don't send it. Send it. Ooh. Sent it. <clears throat> Man, they found the spot. Didn't say anything about camping on the rules. Check this out. This is a wonderful place for breakfast. Oh, <laughs> this is awesome. This would have been a wonderful place to sleep or breakfast or anything. Fired up the Tranja. We got crumpets, which I really like the texture of a crumpet. Never really had a crumpet before here. I'm gonna spread some peanut butter. Oh, I might still have some Nutella, but just look at these gardens. This is the Italian garden. Do I have any more Nutella spread left? I do not. Oh well. While they heat up, we can explore the gardens. The Italian garden. It's like terraced. Terraced. It's a nice sitting benches. I wonder if they do anything in here. Arts wise. Cody found some squirrels to play with. Beautiful. 
Pretty tame. Yeah, man. He came up to my hand and ate it out of my hand. Ate what? Like a little uh, sultana. <laughs> nice. Oh, nice. A little frog path. The frog path so the frogs can get out. Beautiful. Statue in Plythe, originally donated by Alfred. Say it's quite a nice place to have breakfast. And it's right by the seaside too. I'll check it out, squirrels. The squirrel thinks I have food, but I don't have any food. He's like ready for it, but there's like no food here. But look how tame he is. Here is the gardens. Look at those colors. Beautiful. Oh, that breakfast was good. Heading out. Can get some riding done. It's about 10 o'clock. Not sure how this looks on the GoPro, but this is a pretty stunning view. We're like kind of cliffside. And you see the entire buildup over there by the beaches and the castle on the top. Church over there. And just people going about their days in the streets. A couple boats. Very beautiful. All these benches totally gives you an idea of how good the view is because everyone wants to sit here and watch. It's a beautiful. Absolutely spectacular. We've got some nice graffiti over here. If y'all can enjoy, show you all the graffiti. Pretty cool. We're getting out of that city. I can't remember its name already, but basically like packed gravel or even single track uh, that points here. And it goes this, this all the way to where we're going next, which is like Whitby or Whitlby or something. I think it's like 30 or 40 miles of this gravel pack. Beautiful English. Drop it in! Oh, the mud! Ah! Nice single track. We're heading over to some of these ruins. sign here don't know what it is so it is some sort of national trust radar we're by the radar buildings there was accommodation buildings looks like world war ii stuff these are world war ii constructed buildings concrete brick they uh made it so you can't get in all of them however this one right here has a nice little awning if it were to get a little nasty out we could sleep in a World War II building. Pretty, pretty cool. They locked it up too. That's all you need right here is the awning though. This one you can actually get into though. This is a Coast Guard lookout. And they let you in it. Oh yeah, we definitely could have slept in here. Doesn't smell too bad. Yeah. Some kids being naughty. Litter bin. He's up there taking a nap. Keep to the left edge. About 70 pages left in Harry Potter 1. Which is good. Got a little bit of a charge. We are going to be on our way. I think we hung out here probably about two hours or so. Cody had a nap. I think we got another 10 miles or something of the gravel path. So we're gonna hike back up. We're fighting the hill and the winds back up. Walk in, you just step up. 
We get this big gate. Swing it back. I think we have like eight or nine more miles of this gravel. Gravel grinding. It's very slow. Very uncomfortable to ride. across the main road toilet. If we get some water. Ooh. Hello, do you guys have a tap that I could fill up at? Thank you so much. Well, thank you so very much. Oh yeah? Thank you. Finally, we get some free water. So we've got our water bottles filled up there. And now we got a beautiful coast. This should be a pretty intense ride. It's gonna be a nice downhill. It's all cobblestones to my right. I'm going to send it. No, I'm not going to. Ugh. Oh, this is nice and packed again. One of the way more fun parts of the ride that we've had. the big rocks, avoid the potholes, and then just try to hold on and ride. Super fun. Probably going like, I don't know, 25, 30 kilometers an hour through here. I don't have my speedometer, cyclo, cyclometer, cyclo computer. Oh, that was getting muddy. Just dodge, this is where I talk about you. Just dodge, dodge the potholes and just kind of try to pick your line. Whoa. Probably a mile or so out of Whitby. And then we have the wind blowing towards us and literally can smell the fish and chips. You can smell the food cooking. It's so good. But it is a stunning ride and we're gonna be going straight to some sort of castle or ruin. Pretty, pretty cool looking. So this is the Whitby Abbey right here. And this is the youth hostel. And there's a bunch of the youth. But it's not cheap to stay here at all. But you get to stay in this like mansion. It's pretty cool. Oh, so the UK Route 1 pretty much ends here and then picks back up like, I don't know, like 20 miles away or something. Oh, this is wonderful. I think I should just ride down here and send it. Just completely. So this was probably built way before bicycles were a thing. Older than my entire country. So apparently this place is famous for fish and chips. Probably the best fish and chips in the UK apparently. But I just had a big thing of them yesterday and I just can't see myself devouring another one. It's kind of like a once a week or kind of thing. My dad's actually having heart surgery today because of arterial sclerosis, because of foods like fish and chips. So that's probably something I shouldn't be partaking in very often. This is my least favorite way to get water, but if you have to. Public toilets are disgusting, but they do have drinkable water. Got spared the hardest climb, well, still doing the hardest climb of the trip. 18% grade, and my legs are shot, my calves are tight. As you can see there, there's a church point. I believe that's where we're gonna be sleeping tonight. 
It's kind of a church in the middle of nowhere between two cities. So I can't even think of what their names are right now. It's kind of too out of breath. But I'm walking my bike, not because, well, yeah, it's hard riding, but I'm actually walking it faster, if not at the same speed as me riding. Because I was doing zigzags and my legs were hurting and my knees hurting. So rather than doing all that to my knee, I figured I'd just walk the bike. And then hopefully, I think Cody did. Cody rode the whole thing, so cheers to him. But I think he saw the church and hopefully he'll pull in and we'll be churching it again tonight. Churches are good, churches are safe, churches are dry, churches have a good awning. Oh, this one's definitely got a lot of graves. Well, even if we don't do a church, we can camp right here. There's a ton of grass. But hopefully there's like an awning or something. Man, there's a lot of graves. This is like super grave town. Let's see where Cody's at. Cody! We got power? No power? Is it good to sleep? But no power. Dang. All right. There's grass down here too. It doesn't look well taken care of at all. Oh, well, thank you. Oh. Oh yeah. Did you see which ones were the best or the worst? Wow, these are just like blank. This is kind of creepy. The graves are just blank because they're so old. We just talked to the one of the groundskeeper, the husband of one of the creatures, and uh, he said we can camp in the back bit here in the grass. Look at that. There's home for tonight.